So, first off, you've got to download the software, and to do that, you have to go to clayanimator.com. That is C L A Y A N I N A T O R.com. All one word. And then, once you're on the page, you click on this big hand here, and then you click on Enter Clay Animator. And that will bring you up to the menu. So then you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on this blue button here which is just highlighting. And that will bring you off to this page. Now this is the page where you can actually download the software that you need. Stop Motion Animator. So then you scroll all the way down reading all of this text on um, what it does, its system requirements and the downloading instructions. And then you click on this download button here and follow the instructions like so. Now that you've downloaded the software, it's time to animate. Simply open up the software to begin. Then, go to Options and Capture Options. Now, here you'll be able to choose how many frames per second, or FPS, your movie will run at. Now, that means how many frames in one second. Now, here I've got 12, 12 frames, meaning there's 12 parts of each second, 12 movements to each second, and so on. And I also want it to grab two frames at a time. So I think this gives it a smoother feel to the movie. However, you can increase this or decrease it. Same as three frames per second. As you can see, it ranges from 1 to 30 frames per second. And once you're done with that, click OK. Then you can begin to record. Just click Start, and that will take your first two frames. Then, to move the character, simply move their arm or, or another part of their body and click grab. Now that will grab that the motion that you've just moved there, his arm, and it will make it seem as though he's moving magically. And I'll demonstrate this in a minute. Then move him up, move his arm up again, and click grab. And once more, move and grab. It's quite simple and you'll get the hang of it in no time whatsoever. Move and grab. Move. And grab and there you have it one second already recorded and that and now we can preview our work by clicking on the play button here and there you go our character moves his arm up and down as if by magic and again amazing you you've just learned how to animate now let's see what you can come up with in a matter of time And when you're done with your clip, simply click on the Done button, and this Save File As box will appear. Then, simply go to the place where you wish to save your clip, and type in the name down here where it says File Name. Now it automatically comes as clip, and then a number. The number indicating how many clips you've already shot. And in my case, that's two. Then, click Save, and there you go. You've just learned how to animate using Stop Motion Animator.